Actually, in pregnancy, I started noticing the physical symptoms of anxiety a lot more. Um, I would get very flushed quite easily um, and short of breath, and my heart would beat really quickly. Um, and then after Oliver was born, for a couple of weeks I was fine, like I was really happy, um, everything was going really well, and then the anxiety started to set in again. Um, and again, I had the physical symptoms, sort of quite a lot of disassociating um, and zoning out, like brain fog. Um, I mean, you get that anyway because you're tired when you've got a newborn, but I noticed that it was triggered by certain things. Um, and I was, I was very irritable. Um, and yeah, just really like nervous and on edge about just speaking to people and going to places. I've had anxiety through my whole life. Um, when I was quite a lot younger, I didn't even know I had anxiety. Um, and then I got older and I started to learn about anxiety. Um, and then after Oliver was born, I was in a place where I knew how to get help and I was kind enough to myself to want to get help. Um, and I did like want to get better for my children. I think when I've had it in the past, I didn't necessarily had, have that motivation to seek help. Um, so I self-referred to my local resource centre and um, started having cognitive behavioural therapy, which has been really, really effective. I'm in a much better place now. Um, and they basically um, gave me strategies to cope with the anxiety and change my um, negative thinking habits and to be a lot more self-aware and recognise how my anxiety was triggered and how to manage that. Um, and yeah, it's been really effective, so I would definitely encourage anyone who is struggling with it, even just a little bit, because I've always said to myself, oh, well, I'm not struggling enough, people have it worse than me, so I don't deserve the help, but even if you're struggling just a little bit, you deserve help, you deserve to get better, and to, yeah, just for you and for your children.